Is this one sealed? What's up YouTube? We're on our way to some local charity shops here in Bristol, in my hometown. Let's go and see what we find. So I picked this bag up to flip because I've seen the brand around, I know it's popular, people pay up for it. I've seen the bag go for about £25, but I ended up actually swapping this with Immy. I think I'm going to be picking that up. Exit the hole if you survive. Hell yes. Yes, please. Brilliant game. Absolute boulder dash. Any new ones down here? Nothing special. Taking a walk into Bernardo's now. Having a little look around the bric a brac. Here we found this nice jewellery. Nice pretty ring for her. I was going to pick up these coffee brew mugs, but there was only three. If there was a set of four, I would have been tempted. I uh, probably lot them for about 10, 15 pounds. I thought I missed out on a bargain with that green glass, but it's just a common dish. I'm not sure why I didn't look these up at the time, but these dragons are worth some serious money. Found these two games in the charity shop, the Quizmaster and Backgammon. The Backgammon is from the 60s and this Quizmaster I believe is from the 70s. No money in them though, only a few quid. Same situation here, found this 2002 FIFA World Cup electronic football game. You'll see me here, scanning the item, checking it on eBay, just so you know I'm actually looking things up. Got one phone to film, one phone to search. Where there was only two listings, one at 199, one at 35 pounds, no solds. It's not for me. I've actually been in this shop more recently and these were priced at three pounds, the turtles were priced at two and they refused to sell them to me. Now I understand all businesses need to make money, but if they were priced at five and no one was buying them, then they were priced at three and someone wants to buy all of them and you're in the business of moving stock as quickly as possible, surely you should be biting my hand off. Instead, it seems like they sit on stock for quite a while. I'm not judging, but I'd like to get my hands on it. Now, each business to their own strategy, but I remember working in customer service at, at places like Tesco. And if something on the shop floor was marked lower than the expected price, we had to honor that to the customer. Now, I don't know if that's just a shopper's right or whether it depends on where you shop, but I thought it was something interesting to think about. Now there was some pretty cool finds in this glass case, like a Joker Batman, a Donatello Turtles Pop, Pokemon, Park on the Wii. I didn't realize how much that was worth at the time. 
There was also a vinyl in there called DJ, the final chapter by DJ Trance. That's worth about 50, 60 quid. It's priced at 20. I was debating about picking it up, but I didn't. X Racer, pop there, just a common. Priced at five pounds, pretty much what it sells for online. Not worth taking the punt. They did have a few games, Dragon Commander. We're taking a look at that for nostalgic purposes. And Skylanders, not worth picking up. I think the only thing I did pick up at this stop was this Disney TV game joystick toy. Uh, it has Mickey Mouse games already loaded on there. You plug it into your TV, you put batteries in the bottom, turn it on, and it gives you an assortment of games to play. Five quid turns into 15. Hey, uh, doing my usual round. Oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure if I should have picked these up in hindsight. I didn't in the end, but I was debating whether I should have. Um, the prices are a bit all over the place, some for £1.99, but a pair have sold for £25. I couldn't believe how much these vintage Lurpak butter dishes sell for. If you can find them at a reasonable price, they sell between 15 to 20 quid. I should have picked this one up. I spotted something sealed and immediately was like, grab it, grab it, grab it. Turns out these JML Wheelie Bright bike lights are only worth a couple quid and not worth the pickup. Funnily enough, I found two folders, which is exactly what I've been looking for. It saves me a trip to the stationery shop. I can now keep all my receipts related to the business in one neat, tidy place. I swear this used to be called Guess Who. It seems like there's a knockoff version called What's Their Name, but it's actually a, a popular game. I didn't realize. Now here's a part I thought you'd enjoy. They had had a huge stock up of their game selection. Unfortunately, the prices were through the roof, charging $1.99, sometimes $2.99 for even a FIFA game on the PlayStation 2. I don't know what they've been using to price chart these games, but it's not what they usually do. The usual prices of these games are about 49p to 99p, or 199 if it's a sealed game. But it seems like someone else was given the job and they've priced them up megabucks. As you can see, I'm just pulling these games into piles. I start searching through all of them afterwards and that's the footage you can see over on the left. Me searching through on eBay, finding all the prices. I did that while in the shop. You'll see what we come away with at the end of the video.
Now let's get home and review our finds. This first find was a Yamaha Quartz Metronome. I bought it for $2.99 and listed on there was $26.99, obviously from a previous owner. I had a quick look on eBay, £29, 30 quid. I'll take that, 10x profit. We also picked up the South Park Complete Temp Season. It's a sealed copy, $2.49 we paid for that one. I'll pop the listings up here for you. I believe it's 10, 10 pounds-ish, so not too crazy, but you gotta pick it up. I was on a bit of a South Park mood. They had plenty of it in. So I picked up one, two, and three uh, volumes of South Park. I'll open one up and show you. Oh, is this one sealed? No, it's not. I'm, 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 I'm silly. This is what they look like inside. They've got the big box, the plastic, and a nice big artwork. Spotted the South Park movie too. Had to pick that one up. We picked up this Jigsaw. It's a 3D Jigsaw puzzle of a sailing ship. We did pay up for this, it was £3.50. Some other listings vary in prices. A couple sold for about £15, but other listings ranging up to the £40 mark. Not too bad, let's see how we do. I didn't even check to see what this was before I decided I was gonna buy it, so I just picked it up because it was a sealed game. Exit the game, the haunted roller coaster. I haven't played these myself, but I've heard good things about them, that they're nice, fun, quick games. I'm still debating whether I want to sell this or just add it to the collection because it's not too big a flip. I paid £1.99 for it and it sells anywhere between £5 to £10. So nothing crazy. Might just get some good games out of it instead. They had a fresh pile of games in there, so I took my time, sorted through everything that they had. A bunch of PS2, FIFAs, all the usual stuff. A few hidden gems in there though, I did pay up for it, $5.99 for the sealed copy of Forza Motorsport 4. There was some damage of this on the spine and around the edge of the game in the cellophane, so I'm not too, not too sure if someone's going to be happy adding that to like a sealed collection, but if you're just looking to get the game new and have the experience of opening it and playing it, it's not too bad for you. I can still flip it for about £15. Picked up this copy of My Spanish Coach, sealed for the Wii, only paid 99p for it, which was a bargain compared to the other prices everything was around 2.99 plus um, 5.99 for this one but still not too crazy it's not going to make us millions it sells for around two pound fifty to five pound so nothing mad but good reputation to have sealed games i think i also picked up this logitech mk120 keyboard and mouse set i can flip it for around 12 to 20 pounds depending on the condition this one is sealed the stickers still holding it over the edges i should be able to get good money for this the problem i'm gonna have is shipping this awkward thing then we came across this plant families card game i didn't purchase this Immy sort of found it and donated it to me um, but they it's just some some cards with with plants on them. Very nice. It was originally priced up at seven pounds, wherever this was based, but we should be able to get around 15 pounds for them. I'll double check that and pop a listing up on screen for you. But if you ever see these old card games, weird, obscure things, people are collecting them. We did do a stop to the Salvation Army and the only thing I came out with was this Disney analog stick game. Uh, you plug it into the TV and it's got games already loaded on there. I believe they're all Mickey Mouse themed, um, but there could be some other ones. So I still haven't tested it out yet, but that's going to be a bit of fun. And then the pickup of the day, the one that made all our money back just with this one purchase. I'm talking about the white Burberry t-shirt. Paid $4.99 for this. And they're sold on eBay for £100 plus. I've seen some go for £150 but they might have had tags on them. This one doesn't have the original tags, but still authentic and worth 100 quid. By selling this, it covers the purchase cost of everything else that I bought. So we're in the clear, profits flying in. I'm still relatively new to picking up clothing, what, seeing what's good, what's bad, knowing which brands to pick up. So we'll see how this one does, but if everything ends up being like this, you'll see a lot more clothing on my store. That was all of the findings from today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm, 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 I'm silly.